What's up guys, season's fast approaching and what is one simple tip you can do to improve distance and improve technique quickly? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from AirtayThrowsNation.com. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is one simple thing that coaches and throwers need to understand and coaches that you're gonna to wanna to see your throwers doing this and you're gonna to wanna to be militant about not allowing this one simple little training mistake that's going to really slow down progress. And what is that? So what we're gonna do is, one of the things that needs to be done, of course, is when we throw, this is the finish especially. Now again, remember a throwing chain reaction is the system we talk about, so you'll hear me reference pillar six. Pillar six is the finish. We talk about finishing big and that's the delivery. So what do we have happening? We have the block leg, we have the block arm, the delivery leg, and the delivery arm. So this all happens super fast. It's such a small window of execution. And one of the things that is going to help make that better and create that feel, because one of the things that we teach inside the throwing chain reaction is that the throw is very unnatural and it happens really quick. So we have these two things to contend with. So the tip is simply making sure that the thrower is not practicing a throwing motion. Now you're gonna say, wait a minute, it's throwing. How can you not do that? And here's what I mean by that. So what I mean by that is that if we're sitting here and say we do a half turn and we see this and we see throwers doing this, right? They're practicing throwing. They do a stand throw and they do this and they practice throwing and you see them doing this type of stuff. We have all kinds of examples. So one of the things you see is you see this type of motion. Now remember what I just demonstrated, block, block, okay, delivery, arm. So notice the, the, the difference in the sequence. If you look at me from the side camera, I should be finishing like this. There's a slight little angle here and the athlete's going to turn and come out and chase the implement. If we're in the shot, we're going to see something very similar. We're going to push, block, block, push and come out this way. And if we're gliding, of course, we're going to see everything kind of staying here, staying back, coming through. See that hip coming through and kind of coming through and hitting that nice strike position. So the drill problem that you tend to see is you see throwers doing this, right? And they're pulling the block back. So notice where my shoulders are and notice where my hips are. Everything's out of alignment. So this is one of the things that we want to tell people, simple, simple tip. And we say this every year at all of our throwing chain reaction camps that we do around the United States. We tell everybody, don't finish the throw. What does that mean? It means stop practicing this throwing motion. What you need to practice is getting the hip ahead and what you'll immediately feel is tension. This is the tension that you're gonna help you feel that sling block and help you understand where to develop the timing of the block side, block leg and block arm, delivery side, feeling the stretch, stretch through the pec on the discus, same thing, stretch through the core, up through the pec on the rotational shot, and even in the glide, we're gonna see that arm kinda of coming up here, and we're gonna see a little bit more of that rotation, and we're gonna see this. The key that needs to be practiced is getting the delivery side through and not having this pull through like this. What, what happens is if you see an athlete and you see them tend to like, if you are teaching your athletes to do a walk through and then they do this, right? So now you can see everything's ahead and they're not learning how to get the lower body ahead and then feel the block smash. So real simple tip. I know this is, it seems like, hey, how can this one thing make such a big difference? I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. So one of the things that you're gonna wanna do, again, is practice keeping that arm back. Practice keeping that back to feel this. In another video, we'll talk about how the block arm is gonna be utilized to create speed and power into the finish but you don't want to confuse a couple of key mechanics there. So now remember, if you're looking for detailed information about how to 
get more out of every training session and unlock athlete potential. That's what our throwing chain reaction system version 5.0 is all about. We break that throw into six pillars. We break it into drills and throwing progressions and show you how to work and find the weak links to create the individual formulas for every athlete that you coach. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. And by the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'll check you out on the next time. Later.